Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Patty's Good Life bread pudding. This was $6.98 at Walmart, and it was in the uh, bakery department on a table. It is Southwestern bread pudding with a sweet vanilla glaze, raisins, and the perfect blend of spices. Uh, our oven is preheated, as you can hear, to 350 degrees. You, uh, you remove the lid, you place the bread pudding on a baking sheet on the middle rack for 10 to 12 minutes. That's why we have a baking sheet. You can microwave it. You can place the bread pudding, uh, you can place a serving of it into a microwave safe bowl and then you can microwave it for 30 uh, to 90 seconds or until warm. We feel like it'll probably be better in the oven so we're gonna bake it in the oven. One tenth of the dessert is 230 calories and there are 10 servings in the container. These are uh, produced in Buffalo, New York. So I am going to just remove this lid and it comes off as easy as that and you can see all the vanilla glaze and raisins and I'm gonna bake this for 10 minutes and we'll be back. I took a close-up picture of the bread pudding so that you will be able to see it uh, as soon as we finish our review you'll see the picture. Uh, so now we're gonna try it. Mm -hmm. I've, never had, I've never had bread pudding before but Kevin yeah, has. I, I have. I have. It's been a little while but um, I just scooped this out with a spoon is how I got it out. That's good. It's similar to what I've had before. This is not nearly as sweet. No, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. It's very raisiny too. With all that glaze <laughs> on top, I, know. I thought it would be very, very sweet. Um, you taste m m mainly raisins. That's what I get, mostly raisins. Uh, but you do, there is a little bit of cinnamon in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, you it, like the texture of the bread? Uh, you know what? I don't mind that at all. Because it's full of raisins. Tammy does not like wet, soggy bread, and I was wondering if you would like. No, this. but this is firm. It's firm and what? It's moist but wet, but firm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is firm enough for me that I don't mind it, mm -hmm. and it's warm and. Yeah, it definitely tastes better warm. Yeah, so that makes a difference. I think you could have even left this three more minutes. Probably. We we put it in there for, for 12 10. minutes. Not it for 10. 10, okay. I think if you had left it three more minutes, it would have been even better. Yeah. I, I do think it's good though. Hey, uh, it's very similar to a, a raisin cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. Or a raisin bread kind of flavor. Raisin what, bread, yeah. That's what it kind of tastes because like. Because it's not, it's not, it doesn't have the cinnamon like no, a cinnamon doesn't. roll. Um, um, the ones I've had before were better than this, but this is good for for going to Walmart and buying it. It right. is really good. Oh yeah. The stuff I've had before was actually homemade. So yeah, this is really good. Just don't expect like Patty LaBelle's other things that we've tried have been really really sweet, like that caramel cake. Oh, that's goodness, pro sorry. that's probably my favorite thing that we've yeah. ever had. That's such a good that sugar cone. Caramel cake. It was fantastic. Um, I'm thinking it was cold outside when we had it and we were locked in the house for a weekend. It was gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really, nice. really good. Um, but so this is really good, mm -hmm. but just don't expect it to be overly sweet. And yeah. I know a lot of people told me on those reviews, they're too sweet for me. Well, then this is the Yeah, this might be better. You yes, might like you might really, really enjoy this. So I hope that helps you make a decision whether you want it or whether you don't. Uh, and I'll have that picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.